Today um, I'm just going to give an update on how the drainage channel is progressing. Um, about 32 metres done, 23 metres left to do. This has taken approximately 12 hours over a period of 13 days. Um, so I really was at my ease. Um, there was no major difficulty. Now we have to deepen the channel from here on out because as we can see the water is pooling all along here and it from this point here it's too shallow so we have to deepen the last 12 meters 10 meters and um, probably take another four or five inches out and then all that water will get away and um, we have separated sods all the daub is in piles that will be removed for later use all the topsoil is on this side here that can be spread whenever we are um, doing something else with this piece of ground now um, interestingly enough this piece of ground has never been <coughs> very good to grow anything um, because it was always very wet and um, there was a lot of as you can see there crowfoot rushes flaggers it's dry from about the white post over there that's dry um, and about three meters down from the edge of the shore it's beginning to get very dry the grass quality improves but if we were to take a line across from the gate roughly across the field you're talking about roughly a half an acre of ground now I'm thinking I, I may do something with this in the next few years um, once I have shored it and mold ploughed it. Um, in preparation for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of dig and drop compost and the best way to get uh, compost into the soil and getting the soil back working and there's my well rotted manure. So just dig a hole about a foot deep, foot in diameter, throw it in, put the topsoil back on, leave it. And over time worms, bacteria, um, start to work on that and start to move through the soil and improve the soil. This soil and this land in general badly needs lime. It wasn't limed maybe in 30 or 40 years. I never limed it. My father limed it, but I was very young at the time, I remember. So there's a lot of uh, work to be done on that front and that would help drainage because lime flocculates the soil, binds the particles, makes them bigger spaces, uh, poor spaces get bigger and therefore you have a better infiltration. That and compost are the, the life of soil. So I'm going to continue with this uh, drainage channel. Reckon another five days I'll have it done. Um, <clears throat> now it won't be stoned obviously until next spring or whenever the ground is dry. But at least it'll allow um, the ground to soak and get away some of this water. The secret of, of good drainage is always mold ploughing into the drain. Um, any place that I've mold ploughed into drains it has made an enormous difference to the actual uh, drainage programme. The soil has stood up to a lot more rain um, in the subsequent two years or so after. Now, um, the same will have to be done here, but again, the ground will have to be dry. Funny enough, the ground, uh, top two inches is very sticky and wet. It retains the water. You have another six inches of soil bone dry. So it's obviously at that top two inches, the soil particles are high in the actual top soil and they're sticky and they prevent the water from going down. So um, if we can uh, address that and improve that, I'm sure we'll have uh, a big improvement in the drainage profile of this piece. But it'll be nice to reseed this section here um, and bring it up to um, a good quality uh, grassland because it really is rubbish. It always was. Cattle, you would rarely see cattle up in this last five or six metres ever. Um, there was nothing really for them so that needs to be addressed and that can be addressed as we've shown previously there's all the rushes from last summer composting away down there um, over time they'll improve the soil as well so lots to be done but uh, it's going well and um, no major obstacles so far there we are now lots of water filling in and funny uh, we did come across a shore 1981 this land drainage was done and here we are here and the that is the actual shore and I was amazed that they buried the shore actually under a foot of dog, which sounds crazy. Um, I don't know, I think it goes at an angle uh, across the field over that way somewhere. I'm not sure. But uh, one thing I do know is that when I opened this first there was a lot of water backfilling and when I dug the channel into that shore it disappeared overnight so it's obviously filtered and well so um, I don't want to disturb that too much. A uh, little bit of adjustment to be done on the base of the shore in spot, different spots, but that can be done over time. That's it. Good to go.